All right, so I'm about to do my bed with Herculiner. Um, something I'm going to do different is I'm going to use a, uh, a white color to mix in with the black. You can buy the Herculiner already in gray, or you could do uh, a different brand that already has the, the colors in it, uh, or you can make whatever color you want. But a little bit pricey. Um, so I'm just going to do this. Just kind of prove a point, see if it works. If you don't see this video, that means it didn't work. Um, but this is all the stuff I'm gonna be using. Uh, I've already swept it out. I'm going to rough it up. Just gonna rough it up. I'm not gonna get all the paint off of it. Just gonna rough it up. Um, after I sand it down a little bit, I'm gonna use like steel wool, to go back over it. Uh, but I'm also gonna stick tape on top of the bolt heads. But yeah. If you like this video uh, or if you like what I'm doing please subscribe and hit the like button Whew. all right so I rough this up pretty good um, uh, I'm gonna clean it off. I'm gonna wipe it all off. I'm uh, vacuum it, um, get all the dust up, make sure there's nothing in the cracks and crevices. But then I'm gonna tape up like these guys. I'm gonna just put a piece of tape so that there's none of this Herculiner that's gonna get on, or sorry, into the holes. Because if you ever needed to take them out, all you would need to do is take a, a razor blade and kind of cut it up so you could get that bolt out um but yeah so acetone and a bunch of rags and we'll go from there all right here's the fun part um so i've got everything taped up i didn't bore you with that one but like i said at least put tape over the holes <clears throat> or sorry where the bit would go that way you can use a razor blade or something to cut it and uh, just pop it off um, and be able to access it. But I didn't tape a few areas. Um, I'm just gonna be careful when I'm doing it. Uh, and I'm gonna use the roller to come to the edge and stop. The um, brush I'm gonna use in, in like the cracks and stuff, like right here, um, just spots that I can't get to, you know, around the uh, anchor points and stuff like that. Uh, that's where I'm gonna use a brush. But I'm going to mix the white and the black until I get, you know, a decent gray color that that I want. You know, it's, it's going to be different. Uh, but one thing to note, make sure that after your first coat is done, uh, within the first, you know, uh, one to four hours, you put the second coat on. I'm going to be using, I'm going to be wearing just socks from now on. Um, won't be wearing my shoes and stuff. Also, you know, after you're done with this brush, put it inside of a bag or something. That way it doesn't get all crappy and all that. And as soon as you're done with the roller, pull it off with gloves and throw it away. This kit comes with two. Um, and the instructions say that you have to have the second coat put on in 24 hours. That way, it doesn't say this, but that way you get a chemical bond versus a mechanical bond. You want a chemical bond. If you let it go past 24 hours, you'll have to rough it up with some sandpaper or something. So you gotta make sure you mix this stuff up. Um, it's super clumpy for me too. And I even had the can upside down before, you know, for a while before I opened it up. But you want to make sure all these little granules are evenly distributed throughout the entire um, you know, can of paint. Uh, especially since I'm going to be mixing uh, this white paint. And something about the white paint that I got, it's um, it's meant, you know, it's a, also a polyurethane based type paint. But it doesn't have the hardener in it because this already has the hardener in it. So there's no reason to double tap. Um, pretty cool. I got it from, uh, believe, uh, L. 
double check on that one. I believe it was O'Reilly's. Uh, but yeah, they have their own little paint shop in the back where, where I'm at. So they just mix it up without the uh, the harder in it. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'd highly suggest not getting this on your hands. I'm kind of being a dumb dumb by not wearing gloves, but you know, good times. Here we go. Here we go. It's probably going to take the entire thing to dump the whole thing in there. Well, kind of can't dump the whole thing in there. Don't have enough space. That's cool. Try to keep the rim of this pretty clean. You know, I might screw this up. Um, but that way, you know, if you have extra, you can put the cap, the can top back on it um, and keep it sealed. Because uh, if this doesn't seal, it is going to dry up and it will be unusable for sure. So I'm going to have to pour some into a different container because I've got some white left and I want to try to get it a little bit um, lighter and I want to be able to mix it better.